All right, well, my first guest is my husband, my best friend, and the love of my life. He's also my baby daddy, and I'm just so excited for you guys to meet him. Please welcome Sam McLeod. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's uh, so good to be here. Um, <laughs> you know, I didn't really have many options for this evening, so. I don't think any of us did, I so. decided to come downstairs, and you know, I just, all this was here. All this was here, yet you set it all up. Well, uh, maybe a little bit of it. Let me publicly thank you for being oh, so it's supportive of, oh, it. come okay. on. This would not be possible say... without him. He has emotionally supported me through all this because I really haven't, I've been putting this off for like years now. And he just keeps being like, you need to do the show. It's you great to show. see you finally doing it. Thanks, um, babe. And I'm so proud of you. Aww. But let's just, uh, so you know. Proud of you. So take it away. You know what? What, why am, I, doing, what am I here? Okay. Well, you just moved back, right? Yeah. You did too. Yeah. We did. We moved. Us. Me us, and you. Right. You and I. We just moved back from Australia. Yes. When did we move back? November last year. Yes. November last year. And then we've been living in... Um, another lady's like fully furnished home that was super helpful because we were living in Australia, in Melbourne, Australia for four and a half years. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we moved over there, only had five suitcases. Four yeah, suitcases? five for four there and then, you know, six back because mm -hmm. the little baby, so she got two. Exactly. But yeah, that's why that house was helpful because we had nothing. We had only suitcases. Just yeah. close. So what were you doing in Australia? <sighs> so many things. Um, I guess when we moved over there, we didn't do much at all, but then we got to start this lovely little school with uh, the wonderful Gary and Sarah Morgan. Shout out to you guys. Uh, and those SLP. cups are clearly empty. <laughs> right, uh, did that, um, you know, pretty much the whole time. Actually, yeah, definitely the whole time we're there besides the starting of it all. Mm -hmm. And that first year where we just worked at a cafe. Um, a then, great cafe. Great cafe, wonderful. And then uh, he did a bunch of youth pastoring stuff, uh, music stuff, worship stuff, admin stuff, like just kind of like a ton of different church ministry things. Started a young adults thing called Atlas, which was like the monthly gathering of everybody that believed in Jesus, but may not have believed everything else that we all believed in and decided to worship together um, just because we all think Jesus is dope. So did Jesus, a bunch of that. Jesus is dope. So yeah. let's let's say, what are your three favorite things about your time in Australia? Three? Mm -hmm. My about my time there. Yeah. Um, I loved uh, I loved all of the ports and like looking out into the ocean. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so ocean number one. Number two, rest. They yeah. rest so well. I mean, you got a holiday for the holiday that you just had to recover from. and the holiday for a oh. horse race yeah but yeah horse racing is holiday so yeah holiday is number two number and, three and the fact that they close everything down at like four yeah like, the rest thing yeah it's just so like good. the country just does rest really well right so good on you Australia. that's it so that's number two rest number three would have to be health care um having yeah. charlie over there i mean you did your share for it. <laughs> right. You watched. But I did. It was tough for me. <laughs> it was wonderful. He like, was great. Healthcare was great. great. She did great. Um, pregnancy is no great. joke. I have nothing else to say. I retract all my statements. <laughs> healthcare in Australia was great. But those are your three favorite things about Australia. Do you have three favorite things about like your experience of Australia, your time? Yeah, I guess like... I loved using, like, spending my 20s there. I spent, like, all my 20s there. Yeah. And learned a lot of the things that you're supposed to learn when you're 20. And I guess the things that we got to learn because we're married and we had gone through stuff, decided to not get divorced. <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> Woo! We're, we're we made kids. it. So that was, you know, a great experience for me was to, I guess, really grow up over there. Number yeah. two would be, I guess, learning how to lead something. Like... Mm -hmm. And to be given a blank canvas to create something, that was yeah. great. Like to, I guess, ability, r realizing my ability. Yeah. And three would be seeing what happens if you stick with God for a little bit longer. Yeah. Just a little bit longer. When you want to like not do things or not be obedient or whatever, like sticking yeah. with God. I think that was really cool to see what happens when you do. Yeah. And it was really cool to just 
see God continually surprise you and us in different areas. Like every time that totally. we wanted to give up, the Lord would just come through. Yeah. And that was cool. And we'll, we'll continue to unpack that the more that the show goes on because right. the show must go on. <laughs> yeah. And it's a delight. But and it's, yeah. So those are my three things. That's awesome. That's cool. awesome, babe.